Action to the uh, the by election yesterday. If you're living under a rock and weren't aware, there was a by election in Toronto in the St. Paul riding, and it did not go for the liberal. It did not go well for the liberals, I should say. And there's a lot of questioning uh, about the future of the Liberal Party and whether Justin Trudeau is going to resign or not. He recently said he's not going to. He had a press conference today where he made it clear that he's going to stick around, but. There is going to be more intensification for Justin Trudeau to resign and step down from the Liberal Party. And here's a video just explaining a little bit by CTV News. Then we'll uh, react to the video after. Hugely damn Justin Trudeau. Uh, he's been trailing badly in the polls for well over a year now. The Liberals grew a lot in the St. Paul. Sometimes we spend way too much time fixating on, on one single by-election, but I think in this case it is warranted. The last time the riding of Toronto St. Paul's elected a Conservative, Brian Mulroney was Prime Minister. Monday night, Don Stewart won the by-election for the Conservatives, giving the riding its first Tory MP in 31 years. Political observers say this could propel murmurs of dissent within the Liberal Party out into the open. So I think the calls for Trudeau to step down are going to get uh, louder. I think they're going to go from anonymous sources to, um, you know, on the record sources that it is, it is time for him to, to leave. Analysts don't usually read too much into by-elections, but this swing is significant. In 2021, Liberals won the seat by nearly 13,000 votes. Monday night, they lost by just under 600 votes. The polls show even a new party leader might not help the Libs. Angus Reid polled people on 12 possible new liberal leaders. None of them made people more likely to wow. vote red. Political scientist Dwayne Bratt says Justin Trudeau may be an act nobody wants to follow. This could be a situation where does anyone want this? You know, if I was a prominent liberal, I don't want to be the next liberal leader. I want to be the next, next liberal leader. I think what this changes is the Prime Minister's and his staff's ability to tell MPs and others, look, what the polls are saying isn't true. Because here's a perfect example of, of those polls playing out and voters in a riding that, that we wouldn't have ever expected would go. Uh, not, only, or, not only was it close in the polls, the, the Conservatives actually overperformed in the polls. The last poll I saw just before the election showed the Liberals were up by five points. And they lost by two. So right, so they were off by seven points. Right? If they're off by seven, you know, to ten points in terms of if, or if the, the conservatives over overperform by seven to ten points in the federal election, you're gonna see two hundred and twenty-five seats for the conservatives at least, which is an absolute landslide. Keep in mind you only need one seventy to get majority. 225? I, I don't know if that's ever happened in my lifetime. Let me know in the comment section if it has. I, I, I truly can't recall. I don't believe it's happened recently. Right? Even when the Liberals got majority in 2015, I think it was 2015, I don't believe they had that many seats. So, I, again, you know, I've personally, since I've been paying attention to politics, I've never seen, first of all, any, any kind of by-election like this, I've never seen it. But what we're about to see federally, I've never seen that before either. Anything but liberal um, went to the conservatives. From the West Coast, Justin Trudeau congratulated Stewart on the win and saying he got the message loud and clear. I hear people's concerns and frustrations. These are not easy times, and it's clear that I and my entire liberal team have much more work to do to deliver tangible, real progress that Canadians across the country can see and feel. City News reached out to the Conservative Party for an interview with MP-elect Don Stewart, but did not hear back in time for broadcast. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee's. And yeah, you know, that's the thing, right? And Trudeau keeps saying, you know, we want what's best for Canadians. We have a lot of work to do. You've had nine years. Okay, you've overstayed your welcome. No one wants you anymore. There's very, very few people. I mean, even people in their own writing, in the Toronto-St. Paul writing, were talked to by journalists, asked questions, who are you voting for and why? And a lot of people who admitted that they are liberal, 
they did not want to vote for Leslie Church because they don't want to support anybody that is under Justin Trudeau. He is arguably, not arguably, he is the worst prime minister in Canadian history. He's also the most wildly unpopular prime minister in history. And that doesn't always coincide. Some prime ministers and other politicians are really bad, but their approval rating rating doesn't quite show uh, exactly how bad they are. Right now, in terms of Trudeau resigning, I, I don't think he's going to change his mind, even if there's a bunch of pressure put on him, even by someone like Mary Simon. I, I don't see him resigning. I just don't. He, he's made it very clear he wants to go after Pierre Polyev, and even if, it, even if he loses in an absolute embarrassment, which it looks like is what's going to happen, I don't think he cares. He's too much of a narcissist. He's, he's going to... He's gonna go. He's gonna take this ship. He's gonna sink it, and every single crew member and passenger is gonna go down with it. And the Liberal Party is gonna be in shambles for a while. They might come in fourth place after the next election, not in terms of national vote, in terms of numbers, but in terms of how many seats he wins. Especially after an election like this, where you know he's. <laughs> if, if Toronto St. Paul isn't a safe Liberal riding then no writing that is liberal, liberal right now is safe. And any toss-up writings, you got to give the Conservatives a leg up on that one. It doesn't mean they're going to win all of them, and of course Liberals are going to win some seats. But I mean, this is a devastating defeat for a by-election. By-elections are not usually this important. But on a strong, a writing a, a that's a, a, a Liberal stronghold, and you lose it like that, because of your leader, not even because of that uh, that actual candidate. A lot of people said, I like Les Leslie Church. I'm just not voting for it because I'm not voting for anyone liberal under this cabinet. Or under this prime minister, rather. So, you know, and a lot of people just stayed home. Didn't vote conservative, but they stayed home. Then a lot of people went over the NDP or the Greens. And, I mean, really, if they, if they voted liberals, the liberals would have won. But, again, there's so many people who are just sick and tired of the liberals. Will Justin Trudeau eventually be put into so much pressure where he has to resign? I don't think so. I think he wants to make sure that his MPs and his his you know his buddy, let's be honest, not his uh, not his rival, not his colleague, his buddy Jugmeet Singh. He wants to make sure he gets his pension. That's why Jugmeet Singh won't call an election. He wants his pension. They're all a bunch of pun uh, pension puppets. That's what they want. That's what they're there for. They're there for themselves. They're there for their own status and their own profit and their own family. They don't give a shit about Canada or Canadians. In the last nine years, they've proven that. And even very, very liberal writings are getting sick of it. So you let me know in the in the uh, comments section, is Justin Trudeau going to resign? Will Jagmeet call an election before 2025 or October of 2025? Will Mary Simon do it? Because she also has the power to, you know, basically, you know, dissolve Parliament and have an election. Can't have one right now. You know, uh, Parliament's dissolved until, sure, not dissolved, but uh, adjourned until September. But we could maybe see one if Mary Simon decides so. But let me know what you think. Will we have an election? Will we have to wait? And then also, what happens to the Liberal Party if Trudeau stays on until October of 2025? That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.